Hi there, Denny here from Disney Springs. I'm headed to the landing area to have lunch with my family at the boathouse. It's a special occasion. We're celebrating a couple of different holidays and I'm very excited about that. And I'm excited to be able to take you with me. Now, just a heads up, as I've done before, most of the review will be done after I leave the restaurant. I'll show you inside. I'll show you everything that we ate and we'll break it all down when everything is said and done. Believe me, I'll give you a, a really good feel for the restaurant, for the dining experience and everything. So welcome to Disney Springs. Let's go. Oh, there's another bar. Now, right? We have a lot to talk about. I am here with my family and I need to go meet up with them, but I wanted to be sure just to say from the word go, there were some standouts. We're going to go over what those standouts are. There was also something that I was a little disappointed by, and we'll cover that as well. I'm going to go meet up with my family, and then you and I will sit down and review. So it is later in the evening. I'm sorry to uh, jump around on you, but you know, I was there at the boathouse with family. We were celebrating this afternoon, so wanted to be sure um, to be able to, to be with them. And we got to shopping afterwards, and so now it, I can stop and review the meal that was had at the boathouse. I'm here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. I'm in our room. My hubby and I get to stay here this evening. So let's you and I get comfy here. We're just gonna, we're gonna sit and break down the meal that was had at the boathouse. The boathouse is a lot of people's favorite at Disney Springs. Listen, it's huge. It's deceivingly, deceptively ginormous. The outdoor seating space, uh, like I would love to know just statistics on how many people they can seat in that outdoor space. I would, I would think that it rivals how many they can seat in their indoor spaces because it's like a labyrinth inside. In fact, um, the first table that we were shown to was in the main room. So it was in that same room where you see the Chris Craft um, uh, boat just right there and you can sit and eat in the boat. There's the raw bar that sits there. You can sit there and have oysters if you want to. There are also some four top, uh, high top tables there, but there was live music happening. We were there on um, Sunday lunch. 11.45 was our reservation and so it was Happen. We needed a table for five and they showed us to one that typically would be just great. Like you would, of course, you want to be around all the activity and the live music, but we have someone in our party who is hearing impaired. And so um, you just don't want to have to be fighting against um, beautiful music that's being made in the corner of a room and not being able to actually have a conversation at the table and have everyone included. And so we asked for a new table. They um, took us all the way back to, um, to a room in the back, which was absolutely lovely. So let's break down the meal. There were appetizers had at the table. The lobster bisque was enjoyed by three of us. So my father-in-law, my hubby, and then my son Cam all had the lobster bisque. And friends, I had my first taste in my live long days of lobster bisque. 
I've just never wanted to have it before. It doesn't sound like something that I'm like, oh, I gotta have that, especially if I've never had it and it doesn't sound like, oh, I've gotta have that and I've gotta order an entire bowl of it. Um, I had the lobster bisque and it, I've always heard that lobster bisque is just this wonderful thing and really and truly it is. The lobster bisque here at the boathouse was rich and creamy and flavorful and not at all fishy. I don't know why I had that on my mind, but a lobster comes from the sea. And so I was thinking it was going to be like a fishy soup. It is not a fishy soup. It was actually really, really good. It comes with a little packet of oyster crackers, which I adore oyster crackers all on their own. Whenever my hubby gets a soup that comes or chowder that comes with oyster crackers, he gives the oyster crackers for me. They go into my purse and I save them for later. I enjoyed them earlier this evening. Um, sitting out by the pool here at the Yacht Club. <laughs> it's all good. We also shared at the table um, an order of the Hoisin Chili Calamari <laughs> for $18.50. It comes with sweet peppers, a Hoisin Chili sauce, and sesame seeds. And mm, so, so delicious. This calamari were um, chewy, but not tough. I hope that makes sense. They were a lovely, like, Calamari can have a really pleasing texture, and then it can be like you're having an arm wrestling match with your calamari. This was the really nice texture. It was a little buttery. That was a great um, batter and fry applied to it. Now, you did have some heat, so hoisin chili sauce, it's, it's got a kick. And not only does it have a kick, the calamari has a little bit of a kick. So if you're thinking, oh, this is going to be standard calamari with a marinara sauce, it's not that. That being said, it was so good. Um, there were two left on the plate in the bowl. I, I ate them. That wasn't my first serving. I just polished it off. I got to polish it off. So good, these calamari work. But if you're coming in thinking they're going to be standard, they are not. So just be warned. There's a little bit of everything on the appetizer menu. I've got I keep looking over here. It's because I've got my menu. Um, they've got a hummus. They've got dips and chips. They've got carpaccio and a coconut shrimp. So a little bit of everything. Of course, they do have items from the raw bar. And they might also have like a special menu as well while you're there. If oysters are your thing, keep an eye out for that. So they also have a yellowfin tuna poke. When it was time for the entree, I asked our server, uh, JC. So we had JC and we had DC and super, super nice servers. Great. And JC said he's got one A and one B. So one A is the coriander seared yellowfin tuna. That's the market fresh fish. So $36 for that. He said that would be one A. He said really people you know, guests of his remark that this is so much better than what they've had at other locations. They come here, it's fantastic. And then he said 1B was ultimately what I got, which was the Gulf of Mexico red grouper. It comes with charred corn, baby butter beans, sweet peppers, and sunflower chili butter for $39.50. My mom-in-law also got the Gulf of Mexico red grouper and her, she, she loved her grouper. Mine was a bit on the dry side. And I, you know me, if you've watched the Yachtsman Steakhouse review, you know I like my meat well done. I like my fish the same way. However, this was too done. Did I enjoy it as much as I wanted to? No, I didn't because it was on the dry side. Um, the butter beans succotash thing that we had corn butter beans the bed of that that the grouper was on is it something that i would you know oh, i gotta have that dish again because that succotash was so good no it was plentiful if you if you wanted butter beans and corn you have ample ample it didn't stack up to other meals that i've had at uh the boathouse they used to have swordfish on the menu and the, it seems to me like the red grouper got subbed in for the swordfish i don't know when the swordfish left maybe he'll be back if if he comes back 
I'm getting I'm getting the swordfish again because I really enjoyed that swordfish. I almost got the cedar plank salmon and the red grouper was recommended over that. So like I said, my mom-in-law loved hers. Hers was super moist. So you do you friends, but I, I did want to say that. My husband got the shrimp boil, and this is one of the things that was mentioned to us as a popular choice. The dockside shrimp boil is $26. It comes with corn on the cob, red potatoes, and dewy sausage, and boathouse seasoning. My hubby said this: the shrimp were seasoned really well. Um, he, he enjoyed the dish in total. He was trying to discern where the flavoring was like was the shrimp as flavored as you might expect that being said he he did enjoy it like we were talking about it over uh dinner tonight dessert tonight because we went to beaches and cream but you know hey we had to have ice cream hello we're celebrating today my hubby thought it was good like his meal was good it um wasn't something that he was like hey I, i've got to get back to have that that flavor like that was so good that being said, at $26, he feels like he got a good value for it. Like it was filling enough and it was enough food. It just, you know, and compared to the other fish dishes, this is what he wanted. So if you're just a shrimp person and you'd like shrimp and potatoes and some corn on the cob, then that's a good option for you. My son, Cam, and my father-in-law both got the crab cake on the menu. Listen, we're originally from Maryland. There's a crab cake. And JC said that the crab cake was a really good one without a lot of filler. So they got it. Truffle fry time. There's Cam. She likes to, um, oh, she's not. I mean, like behind the scenes voices. So good. Crowd. I mean, as a beautifully truffle oily, like if you love the earthy mushroom flavor of truffle, oh, these fries are your jam. They've got Parmesan all over them. They were so good. And he got full fast, which means I got plenty of fries. I, and he was sitting right next to me. So I just snuck fries here and there. So good. The I enjoyed the crab cake. He let me have some of his crab cake. I tasted it. And darned if JC wasn't right, there wasn't a ton of filler at all in this crab cake. And that's what you want. You want all the the crab meat that you can that you can get. It was a good size crab cake. It was jumbo. Like it they say jumbo crab cake. This this crab cake was quite large, which is a good thing because you are paying $32.50 sense for a crab cake. Um, when everything was said and done, we had, we were, cel again, we were celebrating. So we needed to have some coffee and we needed to have some dessert. Now that coffee is, the coffee that, that is being served at the boat house is a dark roast. Think of dark roast and then go darker than that. <laughs> like it's, it's so dark roast. It's, it's, yeah. So I had to, like the entire picture, you know, the cute little picture of cream that, that they bring out, the entire thing went in my one cup of coffee and several things of sugar <laughs> also went in because again, this is very dark roast coffee. My father-in-law got a latte, which he enjoyed very much. It, I like having a cup of coffee at the end of the meal and this was a very nice one. Did I get a refill? No, I could have. Um, but again, it was a very dark roast. So there's only there's only so much of super, super dark roast coffee I can handle. There are several choices on the dessert menu. We opted for the key lime pie in a mason jar and then also the strawberry shortcake. I came this close. In fact, key lime pie in a mason jar came out of my mouth and JC looked and my husband questioned because I was like, I just said strawberry shortcake. Like I'm going to get the strawberry shortcake, but does that ever happen to you? Like the server asks, okay, what are you going to get? And you, and something completely different comes out of your mouth than the last thing that you just said. So, um, so when Brian questioned, I went, oh gosh, okay. Yeah. And he, and JC looked at me and said the shortcake, like, it was, it was the shortcake. That's the choice I needed to make. And darned if that wasn't a, like it was truffle fries and strawberry shortcake. 
those were the two standouts of the meal at the boathouse today. That strawberry shortcake, fresh baked biscuits, so delicious, so good. So it was that, it was, it was a fresh baked biscuit that had been split in half. Their whipped cream, which was fresh whipped cream. They had fresh strawberries going on, a sugary coating on the top of that biscuit. So there was a bit of a textural crunch when you bit into it. Oh dear. It was so good. And it was $10. And uh, I cannot re recommend this highly enough. Please get this. The key lime pie in a mason jar was savored by my mom-in-law and my father-in-law also $10. And it wasn't like a, I was concerned because I immediately started thinking, is it like Trails End Mason Jar, which is like a teeny tiny mason jar, <laughs> like a little taste and you have a little taste and maybe we each have another taste and then it's done. Um, it was not that. So it is a nice size mason jar. And they really loved, my my in-laws loved that key lime pie. I really enjoyed it. I dug in and it was what I found most pleasing. Yes, the key lime was really nice and, you know, pucker inducing, but the graham cracker crust, the, it was loose at the bottom and it had sugar incorporated in it. So it wasn't just like, mm, graham cracker crust. Cause I don't know about you, but that can be dry sometimes. And kind of like one note, this had sugar going on. So it was delightful. It was so good. Listen, friends, I've done you a travesty because there was one other standout and it just popped into my head. It's the rolls. It's the rolls that hit the table before you even start to digest this entire big menu. Those rolls are fresh baked Parker House rolls. They come adorned with a cinnamon sugar glaze and they are served with honey butter. They are warm, they are soft, and they are heaven on your table. Please, for the love of all things butter and cinnamon sugar glaze, savor one or two of these rolls. Eight come out to the table. I guess if you have a bigger table, they'll bring more, you know, two plates of eight. But these rolls were divine. That cinnamon sugar glaze just, it took everything up a notch. Like it just did. Of course, that honey butter was so good. And you might think, oh, do I want honey butter and cinnamon sugar glaze going on at the same time on a roll? Yes, you do. Stellar. Chef's kiss those those rolls can do no wrong. So I loved the rolls, I loved my dessert, and I loved my son's truffle fries. <laughs> and the truffle fries were a couple dollars extra, but those were a couple dollars very well spent. Um, the boathouse is, as I said before, like a labyrinth. There's so many different rooms. There's the dockside bar out back, which was Happen. That's where Cam went before, um, while he was waiting for us to arrive. In fact, he had one of their spicy uh, Bloody Marys for $17. He asked for it spicy, spicy. So he had, um, he had a, a shrimp on it. There were jalapenos, like fresh jalapeno slices floating in there. There was a, a blue cheese stuffed olive a regular olive like this thing was a little bit of, it was a snack and a drink at the same time. He enjoyed it. And if you go out to the dockside bar, you can carry it in. Um, if you have something to drink, you can carry it into your table when your table is called. But um, it's it's hopping. It's a gorgeous space. It's a lot of fun. There's It's always very high energy in there. They have a great merchandise location. So if you're waiting for a table or when you're done, if you've got some extra time, Definitely do a little look around in there. Everything, all things nautical, as you might think, can be found in this shop. And, you know, right down to jewelry. The amphi cars are another fun thing to take note of when you are at the boathouse or when you're in the landing area of Disney Springs, because you can stand there and watch people get in and out of the amphi cars and drive into the water and come back out of the water all afternoon long if you would like to. It's so much fun. Fun to get to watch these things float around in the water and then 
drive right back up. And then once you get up to the top, they put you on the turntable and spin you back around so that the car is facing like toward the water again and uh, you can get out at that time. So how much fun is that? That is a separate charge those Amphi cars are. So definitely stop by the Amphi car podium and inquire, see if they've got space for you that afternoon or evening when you're there. So much fun. Also worth noting, I had what I deem as the best non-alcoholic mojito, or as it's called on Disney property, a nojito. I enjoyed it very much. I, the boathouse has the best one. One more thing of note, if you want to, like I mentioned those four top tables, high top tables that are by the raw bar, you can order the entire menu there. I know this is a bit of a mixed bag of a review, but I want to be always honest with you. And today was today was okay. Was it the best it's ever been at the boathouse? It wasn't. My husband and I are sitting here and talking more and more and more about the meal. And he, you know, brought up the he brought up the point that for the money that was spent, we could have spent spent it at something like Toledo. Like if you compare it to another thing that we enjoy, which right now for us, for our family, it's Toledo. Like if I can get in at Toledo, I want to go to Toledo. I want to have my favorite things. I want to have that filet. I want to have a cafe bonbon. I want to have the crema catalana. Like those are the things that I want to have. I would have walked away from Toledo having a much better meal for much less. This was a $330 meal and that was um, with a discount, an annual pass holder discount. Now that $330 tab only included a, a, a Bud Light and two Nojitos. So $8 each uh, for the, the Virgin Mojitos. I have to, I have to say, for the experience and for the meal that we had, it was not worth that price. It just wasn't. And and this is this is our family's money that is being spent here. This is I'm not being comped. If if ever I am, I'll be super super clear about that. So when you roll into a meal at Walt Disney World, I want to be able to help you as best as I can. Can we say the boathouse is overpriced? Yes. Yes, we can say the boathouse is overpriced. So my meal, um, the the Gulf of Mexico red grouper was $39.50. That's more expensive than the filet at Toledo. And I'm sorry I keep harping on Toledo, but, it, but I have to. So for $49, you can have the filet at Hollywood Brown Derby in Disney's Hollywood Studios. Again, you do you, you pick the meal. And again, I've had other good meals at the boathouse. Have I had um, stellar, oh my gosh, you can't wait to come back. No, I've not had that at the boathouse. I know it's everyone, I mean, so many people love the boathouse. I'm sorry if it's your favorite. I don't mean, I don't mean to offend, but I do mean to be honest. And, um, and yeah, I'm glad my hubby pushed me on it because when you compare it to Toledo, ooh, there is, in my mind, no comparison. There just isn't. <laughs> and eventually I will get to Toledo and actually review it for you. I, pr I promise. Um, just got to go there very recently with our dear friends, Kate and Conrad, and just savored the meal because I needed to be... I needed to be there with friends and my sweet hubby, and I needed to have a cafe bon bon. So you let me know what you think of Boathouse down in the comments section. Is Boathouse on your bucket list? Is it one of your must do's? Is it a very favorite of yours at Walt Disney World? What do you think of the prices? I mean, Walt Disney World is pricey, right? It's We all know that. But what do you think about Boathouse's prices? Let me know down in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming and sitting with me in the constellation, the Disney character constellation <laughs> curtains here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. This is our first day here and loving it, I gotta say.
absolutely loving it. Thanks again for watching. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram at Denny underscore Sunderly, I'd love to have you hanging out there with me um, on the socials. It's so much fun. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned a thing or two, consider liking it. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you've not done so already. Please come and hang out with us here more often. We'd love to have you. Have a great day, whatever you're up to today. I hope it's a great one. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.